Hi guys, Lens here. In this video, we are going to talk about different ways in which you can fix your black screen issues. Someone requested this video and I just want to give you guys the different things in which you can check for and what you can do. So if you have a black screen, and this is if you have dropped your phone, right? You want to massage the back of the phone. There are ribbons that connected down here and also there are ribbons that connected up here as well. So the, depending on which phone you have, you want to massage the, this area here. And you want to massage the middle area of the phone as well. So guys, if you drop your phone and your cable for your screen is detached, it will just pop right back in and this is if you have dropped your phone this is the first method in which you want to do the second method in which you want to do as well you want to do a force restart so to do this you hold the volume down and the power button together and if you also have a non-responsive screen this will fix it as well when you see the samsung logo you release all buttons once you see the logo your problem is fixed the other way in which you can fix this problem if it happens that you have feel your phone vibrated and you're still not seeing anything you want to try it again you want to hit the volume down and the power button you want to hold those buttons until you see the samsung logo if it happens that you drop your phone in water right i've seen this with water i've dealt with this a few days ago where i revived the screen from water it happens that the phone got wet and all over in the case got water as well so what we did to fix this we actually took the back of the phone off to ensure that there is no water in the phone. So only the screen was affected. So what we do to fix this is that we took a heat gun and we gently heat up the screen. We allow the screen to cool down. And then guys, we did repeatedly force restart. We unplug the battery, we plug back in the battery and we just did the force restart a few times and that revived the phone so the force restart is quite important in reviving your black screen if it happens that you're doing the force restart and you realize that you always get a vibration then i'm going to tell you what to do you want to give your phone a few minutes charge to ensure that you have sufficient battery power to turn on your device it can be that your device doesn't have sufficient power to power up the device but you will know if the device is on if you are hearing song and you have a black screen also you can do the force restart with your power card in so you plug in your charger and the same time you plug in your charger you do a force restart and you should see the logo when you see the logo you release all buttons as usual guys if it happens that this doesn't work then you want to do it without the power card you want to keep doing this especially if you have a black screen where your phone got wet you want to keep doing this this will clear the phone memory this will refresh the phone system the motherboard components and this will bring new life to your phone screen again so you want to keep doing that and you should see the samsung logo if it happens that none of those methods work then you want to unplug your phone battery of course you will have to remove your sim tray you will have to take the back of your phone off you want to remove your phone battery for 30 minutes 
and then you want to plug back the battery in and then you want to try the method again this can be a reason as to persons who never turn their phone off if you never turn your phone off your phone is always on it can be that your motherboard system is a bit malfunctioning and it is not operating as it should and your screen is stuck on the black screen so to clear that up you unplug your battery for a few minutes you allow your motherboard system to drain so that they can perform their duties normally again and then you do the force restart volume down and also power button let me let you know that sometimes you have to be doing this repeatedly to get it to work so sometimes you have to keep doing the force restart to get it to work so guys i hope that this video was helpful my name is lens and if it was just let me know in the comment section and i'll see you guys soon bye bye